you're so annoying, Ruby. You can't do anything right. No, you you can't do anything right. You're so annoying. I I should be team leader. No, I should be team leader. No, I should be team leader. We're just gonna we're just gonna put these over put these over here. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Didn't know you'd be showing up so soon. Anyways, uh, welcome to Ruby Volume Nine, Episode Nine, A Tale Involving a Tree Reaction. I think that's the theme for this whole volume. I don't think that really just qualifies for this episode. It might, it might, because of the whole tree thing with Ruby. Oh yeah, that did happen last episode. Speaking of last episode, uh, Pura, Penny, uh, Ironwood, Clover, uh, Lion Guy, somebody else, I don't know. Anyways, they all came back, Neo kicked the heck out of <laughs> Ruby, jeez. And uh, now we're gonna have to try to save Ruby from the tree. Of course, there's a little more drama to that. I'm just being, I almost said fecal. I'm not being fecal, I'm being fascistic. Fascistic? I'm being fascistic. I'm losing my mind. This has been a crazy season overall. Oh my gosh. And uh, with that, we have two episodes left, nine and 10. And also, this is the shortest episode, I believe, at around 15 minutes. Yes, 1540. So it's gonna be interesting to see how the Kirby can't figure out what the heck's gonna happen in the next two episodes. Anyways, enough talking and stuff. You, I'm sure you just want to see me react and go like I did the last thumbnail. So let's uh, get to it. We're gonna start the reaction in three, two, one. Press. Boom, 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 boom. Did you guys see? They haven't updated it on the Crunchyroll ones, but um, Rooster Teeth got a new logo. I'll uh, I'll put that uh, somewhere there. It is a very interesting looking logo. Um, a lot of people thought it was an April Fool's joke as it kind of looks like uh, there's like this restaurant, I don't think it's in the US, that's um, very similar, that has a very similar logo. People are hoping it's just a very, very, very late April Fool's joke that this goes on for for the rest of April because it's, I mean, it's their birthday month. But it is, um, I'll reserve my heavy criticism for a later time but i I'm, I'm i like their traditional logo it's super cool there's no need to change it um but i can't say that much because i don't want to get hired at this place so uh it's really cool rooster teeth you should change it more often hopefully they hire me soon so i'm gonna be sad not listening to this every saturday i think i might i think i'll, I'll just mark out a time every day every saturday and just listen to the soundtrack. You know, what? every day I'm changing my mind back. I'm doing. I'm gonna do this every day. I wish they would have kept changing the. Um, oh, not too far away from the mic. It's my first time using this one. Um, I'm, I was hoping they would change the uh, intro a little bit more. Of course, they changed the genre a bit. So I was hoping that each week from there on out there'd be a change, like maybe Ruby disappearing, or the little. F little <laughs> This is terrible. Little paper guy is like drowning in the background. That sounds terrible. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna watch the thing. But I wish they would have changed more with it. So let's get into volume nine, episode nine. A door opened for Alex at the tree. Before she went back home. Hmm. The girl had a great many questions to ponder. Are we getting After all the lessons she'd learned? Alex lore? And the friends she'd made and lost. <gasps> Summer Rose! Would she still be the same Alex when she went back home? So this is the narration we heard in the trailer. Oh, baby Yang. And on the wind, Alex heard one more question. What are you? Is she part of the tree now? I don't understand. Alex, the pleasers, now Ruby. What hmm. does this place want? How are they gonna get to the tree? There's like an ocean to it. I don't understand. He knows how to get to it. He's been to it before. No, he actually hasn't. He hasn't been to it before. Never mind. What did I do wrong? We can figure this out. There's got to be a way to get to the mm. tree. Hello there. <gasps> did one of them live? You're upset. Oh. Would you be so kind as to tell me how I can help? They turned into little rock people. Okay. Th those are the little pleasers. Please, don't 
They turned into rock people because they've evolved into like the better form of themselves. What? What John. You? We are the genial gems, and we have a you know gems. Beautiful land and create something wonderful and pleasing. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah, oh, they're actually another really adorable design. What are they doing? They're like elementals. They can like control stuff. Whoa, this is crazy. Oh, that's cute. Another uh, song as well. They're back. That's Ascension. It's just like they said, they came back from the tree better. No flood or fire will ever hurt them again. Hmm. By trying so hard to save them. I stopped them from becoming what they needed to be. Oof. I was being selfish because I... I wanted the rush of rescuing someone. And I got that here. Mm -hmm. I think you're asking too much of yourself. We've been telling Ru ourselves that... Move my little Ruby. We're no good. Hopefully she comes back. But I can guarantee even the best huntsman in history... Yeah. They've all lost. Mm -hmm. But they were still incredibly brave. And good. Yeah. Why? <sighs> oh. <laughs> Maybe that cat was right. Maybe I hate to say it. To accept it. Whoa. It's not a place you go. It's a thing that finds you, I believe, or a place that finds you, or. Blake and Yang were hugging. We're hugging. Ooh, are we? I think we're on the tree. It's a place you know. A place you know. That's what it is. Oh, I'm. Is it gonna be their house in Patch? Because we just saw Summer Rose. There's Herb. Ah, uh, I'm gonna hate it when Yang finds Ruby. Oh no. R Ruby? Oh. So I think it's sort of like a cocoon. We have to get her out. I think she's assuming it too that it's like a, like a cocoon, cocoon a type thing. Why the tree brought us here? Acceptance. We've done everything we can. Now it's up to Ruby. Whatever happens next, we have to welcome that. Mm -hmm. But what if she isn't Ruby anymore when she comes back out? Her? Oh. So he's like a little butterfly guy. That's not for us to decide. So Ruby's gonna more or less evolve? Mm. We're gonna see that? Oh, we're gonna see her conflict now. What do you see in the Ascension? Hmm. Please show more Summer Rose. <gasps> That's who it was! I think this person is directly related to the tree activities and was sort of beckoning for her back at the lily pad place. Hmm. The tree? Yeah. <laughs> you could say that. But that is a simplistic understanding. Of Who the tree. is this person? Hmm. What's going to happen to me? Am I gonna die? The only thing that can happen to you here is what you want to happen. The choice of what you become and where you end up. Hmm. 
is yours to make. I'm concerned. You don't know what you want, do you? Yeah. What's that? Oh, they're gonna have to defend Ruby. I think she'll end up good in the long run. Is that the gate out? No way. Our way home. <laughs> he can't get out. Oh, good. <laughs> you made it. I guess your little plan to get out of here isn't working. Cat. You've always been the worst of the bunch. <laughs> so Neo can't go through the door. <sighs> no. Let Neo she go. No attachments to your world. Nothing to return to. And he has another She's cause to try to take over one of the other Ruby members. Did. Huh? Like Alex? <sighs> what? Wretched girl whose story you've been foolishly following mm -hmm. all along. The same girl that I followed too. Because she promised me she would bring me back to Remnant with her. <sighs> but in truth, she had Ooh. no intention of taking me. This is lore. No, after talking to the tree, she had a sudden crisis of conscience. Decided she wanted to fix everything she, she was in the ever after. Touch with the tree? Poor Jean. And so Lewis went. Wait, what? The very last moment, Wait, what? Alex didn't. What did you do to her? <laughs> As Alex? Still there? I'm so confused. What anyone would do with a broken, useless thing. No, you, you didn't. You, you monster! Whoa. She's still here. No, 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 no. All my work, it's not lost. <sighs> She wants nothing more than I don't like seeing Neo like this. I know she's dead at this point, but she's. I just need to cut her out, and she will take me there. Mm. No, whatever happens to Ruby is up to her, not you or anyone. Let's else. do this, guys. And I'll put you for everyone. Oh boy. What are these lights? Souls that are moving on to whatever they become next. It's very synthy, kind of lo fi in the tree. It's really cool. What their next life will be like. Such concern for souls you don't know. Mm hmm. Or is it for yourself? I think it's a mix of both, where no Ruby is concerned for me. her own life, but, but don't you see? is also looking out for other people still. Even in her own court. What the heck? Oh, I hate those things. I wanted mm. to be the hero. <sighs> stories that my mom read to me. I just wanted to do the right thing, but every step of the way, it's like, it's like there is no right thing. I tried so hard. And I... Mm. I may have just done more harm than good. I don't understand who I need to be. Because who I am right now, she's not cutting it. Mm. What if you could be anyone? Anyone? Oh, the the armor stuff. The armor. That's a time. Uh, I thought Alex this is crazy. Home and lied about everything that happened here. But you were the one who killed. Who lied? You were never a brave knight either. Yes, he was. Fairy tale nonsense. Mm -mm. Get him, Jean. Get him. Ah. Uh, no. Oh, no. Uh, just playing dirty at that point. Shoot. Where'd he end up? Where'd he end up? 
That's just dirty. Oh my gosh. Bringing Pura and Penny into this back to back. Who did this belong to? These do look like huntsman weapons. Some of these. Can you feel the woman in my hold it? Who did or could? They do have I think I think Crescent Rose might be with her. I'm not sure I'm not sure where it's at. But there's also the axe that I believe Summer had that they showed. Oh, so heavy. It's mm. the only thing I can feel anymore. And it never, ever goes away. The feeling of not being enough. And how would you measure hmm. enough? Going back to Summer's possible weapon. Mom, the girl had a great many questions to ponder. Ooh. What are you? That was it. Holy cow. Next episode has to be big then. And then this is the song that was playing during Yang and Ruby's reunitement. And we have our first official concept of, uh, it looks like Huntress Summer Rose, not the backstory sort of volume one or volume six Summer Rose. And she was a sort of scythe wielder, a wielder. And we have, I called her the armor, that's a Mandalorian thing. I don't remember her actual name, but this is the, I think the blacksmith. I think the blacksmith. That's cool. Ooh, what art is this? It's like a, it's a long piece of art, Weiss and Yang. Oh, that's a really cool piece of concept art. So with that, we have one episode of Ruby left. Holy cow, this is crazy. Um, a very short episode, not a ton happened. We really set up just for the finale. Um, We'll get a little, a little bit more clarification on what is happening to Ruby. I do not think she's going beyond staying as Ruby. I'll keep using these little models, I guess, or the figures. But I don't think she'll be go beyond just being a normal human. Um, I think she'll stay a human. Um, but she might take pieces, and we're probably going to get a, a closed transformation as well. Uh, she'll take pieces of Summer Rose with her, and maybe we'll get a little bit of Summer Rose story out of next episode. We'll finish up what's happening with the Zhuubi fight, Team Zhuubi. Once again, I'll put that here. But uh, not, there's not a, a lot to comment. It's just speculation for next episode. Similar to Herb, Ruby's most likely going to evolve. And we have a slight concern with Jean. Uh, the Curious Cat played very dirty and used Penny in the exact same way that Penny was on the ground when John had to stab her. And then Pyrrha backstabbing John. That is a sentence I never thought I'd have to say. But that's a blow, blow, come on. And also we have Weiss using dust for the first time this season. She did mention at the beginning of the season that um, she's very low on dust. So she's conserving it for a, a major battle like this. But also the first time she's using dust, it accidentally ends up backfiring and hitting John, possibly off the tree which is very concerning. I don't I don't know what's gonna happen with him. Anyways, I don't have much to speculate or say other than next episode, Ruby evolves. Hopefully Jean survives. Team Ruby will end up getting out. I think we'll get one final scene with Neo, maybe, if the Curious Cat is possibly taken out and killed or whatever. I'm still a little confused about the whole Alex thing. I think the Curious Cat ascended her or something. Um, and then Lewis went and told Alex's story. So that's my reaction to Volume 9, Episode 9, A Tale Involving a Tree. I hope I get some type of reaction shot. I wasn't, there wasn't much to react to this episode. Um, other than uh, Summer, but that was about it. Make sure to like, subscribe, post notifications, all that sort of stuff. And also, uh, tune in for next Saturday for the finale of Ruby Volume 9, 
episode 10. Anyways, I'm gonna go put these back on my shelf and do nothing else with them.